mm. exchanges and so on, but he was not a drug dealer. Anyway, you see, uh, you have to start from where you are if you want really uh, coming together again, and we, we all want it. We have, to, we have to start from where we are. We have to take certain uh, uh, steps one by one, not jump to things. If we do what you say, then uh, trouble will ensue. Because where are you going to throw the Turkish Cypriots? He is living in a Greek house now we because he has left his house to a Greek in the south. Well, I, I mean, some of the people wanting uh, <coughs> invitation must to, to help us, uh, Mr. The, the, the powerful economically people, uh, countries. Uh, they're suggesting that they will throw money into Cyprus and build new houses and build. But I am saying that it's only humane that we allow. I'm not saying that everybody will return. I doubt it personally. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm saying that if somebody wants, for any reason, to come and be a minority within his own country in a community that will be controlled by the Turkish side, that they should be allowed. Well, they, they, we they, will be, they will be allowed under, a, under the legislation of the time, uh, subject to a quota, so that by zonality is not destroyed. These are all agreed principles to which Greek Cypriot leadership have turned its back after the EU opened the door to them. And this is why we said, uh, don't open this door now. Let us first settle the problem. Then we will go into EU as a settled problem. As a, uh, no problems, a settled Cyprus. Why does EU frighten you so much, Mr. Lektar? Why can we not join the because EU it is and then gradually find the solution that you can join us? Because it is a, a club in which Greece is a member and Turkey is not. And Cyprus settlements of 1960 have been uh, established on the principle that within Cyprus the two communities shall be equals and the respective motherland's equality towards Cyprus shall be balanced, shall not be upset. But and it is in the context of those 1960 agreements, aware of his speaking now, I am quoting, of course it is uh, correct that Cyprus should not enter any union in which both motherlands are not present, otherwise it will mean some kind of an enosis with that motherland. This is writing in between the lines for me. Uh, what I'm seeing is that being the weak side, it is to our benefit that we do find a solution. And I'm asking you now that if we do find ourselves belonging to a larger community, having the security of, 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 of Europe around <coughs> us, uh, uh, won't that, since you say that you're truthful, honest, the position is that you want to find a solution to this uh, Cyprus problem. Won't that enhance this uh, try? Well, you have uh, probably not read Mr. Kyrgyz's statement why he wants to enter EU. He is clear on it. He said, uh, once we enter EU, the Treaty of Guarantee shall be of no effect against an EU country. The <coughs> special things which we have promised to the Turkish Cypriots, like bizonality, boundaries, the special rights here and there, they will be of no effect because they will be contrary to the laws of Europe and therefore Hellenism will be victorious. And recently your parliament has passed this resolution which says the laws and legislation of Europe shall, uh, be, uh, shall prevail. The agreement should not be against this. So uh, your intention of entering Europe is not economical, and that is also declared by Mr. Krillis. It is political. And why? Uh, for the things which you have not been taken, uh, able to take away from us, you will do it through EU, okay, with but, the help of but Europe. Whether you like it or not, <coughs> uh, um, by 1999, hopefully, uh, insofar as we're concerned, hopefully, Cyprus will be a full member of of, of Europe. How do you intend to handle? Well, when you say Cyprus will be, you mean Cyprus which has applied for it. North Cyprus has no, not I applied mean Cyprus. for it. No, but it cannot be unless we have uh, uh, an agreement. Uh, okay, which brings me, I understand. Then we it cannot, it we brings cannot. Me to my final perhaps question because we're talking about future now and I want, I don't want to leave this place without taking some hope with me, Mr. Nektash. Do you think that we will have a solution by 1999? Uh, if Europe tells the uh, Greek Cypriot leadership clearly 
that uh, they should not expect to be a member without settling the problem. Yes. This is not yes. what I want to hear, Mr. Natash. Yes, but this is the, this is the reality. I, I have to be very sincere with you. If Europe tells Greek Cypriot side, look, we have dealt you with you as Cyprus But they are so not on. saying this. They are saying that uh, irrelevant to whether the solution is found by 19, uh, early 67 when the discussions uh, will finally begin for uh, the final entry uh, of Cyprus into, into Europe, um, uh, irrelevant to this, we will uh, join the uh, Europe. Who uh, will? Uh, Cyprus. Okay, Cyprus. Cyprus, which has applied, will join. The we shall not join. The official state of Cyprus. We shall not join. Uh, and uh, I have asked several... Will you keep the doors open for a solution uh, to be found in the next uh, one year, two years, three years' time after we join? Uh, the, the, that kind of a solution is always there. Uh, I mean, because that, it that, is that, to the benefit kind of, of all the people of Cyprus, Mr. Dr. Not at the price we are asked to, to give. The price is uh, forego the Treaty of Guarantee, forego the bizonality and whatever is, uh, it goes with it, and forego, forego your rights as one of the corporate signatories of, as a partner of the Republic of Cyprus. You are asked us to, to, to forego all these things. These are things on which we have been defending ourselves for 32 years. How can we forego these things okay, we're just to enter for the dollars and, and, and ecus? One more time, we're running out of time. I believe we only have about a minute, a minute and a half left. Uh, uh, I, I think I'll just um, give it to you. And, um, well, I thank, you, I thank you for giving me this opportunity. I hope uh, you will not be hurt by it. I, I must say this because sometimes uh, people who write anything in my favor immediately are attacked. Uh, but I, I would uh, have liked to have our views uh, known. That's why I invited Mr. Kredis to send me 40 of his people and I would send him 40 of my people so that we could talk these things with them. Because I realize that most Greek Cypriot youth do not know what happened pre-1963. And they think Turkey dropped from the uh, skies in order to punish the Greeks or divide the country that the country was divided into 30 pieces until 30 came. In those little areas how we lived, most uh, young people do not know. So I think we should let each other know our feelings. We may correct them in time, but talking is good. Okay, Mr. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.